Hey guys. Okay, so last year we decided to try something new. We decided to venture into the world of video. See, back then I was struggling with an influx of emails. As a result, my timeframes were blowing out. I was shortcutting my advice and therefore my customer service. And worst of all, from a liability perspective, I was making mistakes. So I turned to video to overcome these issues. See, I thought, what if I could create videos that talked about our most frequently asked questions? And then what if I referenced or linked those videos into my emails? Ah, maybe it would speed up my timeframes, increase the quality of information I was giving people and remove the opportunities for human error. Then once I created these videos, I thought, you know, we do have that Facebook page and there is that YouTube channel buried away somewhere. Maybe we could just put the videos up there. Maybe a few more people would actually see them then. Well, a few more than a few people saw them. In fact, it was 135,000 views last year. It is ridiculous because we are not talking about cat videos here, people. We are talking town planning videos, videos that focus on the rules and regulations, so legislation for predominantly houses exclusively within the Brisbane City Council local government area. We're talking about possibly one of the most boring and niche topics known to mankind, yet we still got over 135,000 views. I am immensely proud of that figure. I'm slightly chuffed with it if I'm going to be honest with you. However, I'm the type of person that likes to constantly challenge myself, push my personal boundaries. So towards the end of last year, I found myself going 135,000. Yeah, yeah, it's good. We can do better. We can do much, much better. But how? Hmm. At that point, a guy laid down a challenge to me. See, I was telling him that unfortunately town planning, no one knows what it is. Ideally, people would come to us before they purchased the property so we could work out whether it was fit for purpose. What do I mean by that? Well, basically work out whether they can do their dream home or do that extension they're planning or do that dream backyard they've always wanted. If it's not possible to get in before they purchase the property, then at least we would like to get in before they put pen to paper. So before they start that design process. Unfortunately, the reality is because no one knows about town planning, they find out about us at the end of the process. Once they're emotionally committed to a design, it's really, really quite sad. This guy, he turned to me and he goes, why don't you change it? I'm like, why don't you just re-educate all of Brisbane? I looked at him and went, you're an idiot. Like you're Looney Tunes. Do you really? Brisbane's not a small country town. Like despite the jokes, we do have more than 50 people. There is no way I can re-educate all of Brisbane. Like, what do you think you idiot? <laughs> anyway, I walked away from that conversation just going, well, that was a waste of my time. But clearly something he said got to me because I started to notice all these little things. For example, I started to notice that the building designs we were trying to target didn't have time to watch our videos. They were too busy doing other stuff. As a result, we were totally missing the mark. However, their clients, the people that we refer to in the industry as the mum and dads were actually watching our videos. So I'd turn up to meetings and I'd sit there and say, okay, so these plans that you give me, I just need to fill you in on some council changes. And the mum and dad would be like, let's just stop you there, Peter. We saw your video a few weeks ago. We thought you might say this. So we've actually been discussing some options and we've come prepared. Myself and the building designer would look at each other and go, what, what the heck just happened there? But that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> so we realized that despite all the best intentions to target the building designer, we were actually reaching the mum and dad. So maybe this gentleman wasn't so crazy after all. If we were unintentionally already hitting that audience, maybe with a slight tweak of language and maybe a slight change in direction, we could really target this audience. And hey, if we could educate that audience, we would then indirectly benefit the building designers, which at the end of the day is our ultimate goal. So by that, I mean, they would end up with clients coming to them that know what town planning is, that know roughly how much it's going to cost and know what all the rules and requirements are. So they don't need to have those painful discussions, those painful conversations. So anyway, at this point, we start to think, hmm, maybe this Looney Tunes guy is onto something. And with that came our big, hairy, audacious goal. What's our BHAG, our big, hairy, audacious goal? Well, I sat there and went, 135,000. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, nah, nah, we can do better. We can do much, much better. We are gonna aim for half a million. No, you didn't just mishear me or misread that. I did in fact say half a million. Why half a million? Well, I figure it's the equivalent of a quarter of Brisbane's population. If we can sit here and say in one year, we've reached the equivalent of a quarter of Brisbane's population, I think we can sit there and say we're well on the way to re-educating all of Brisbane. Quite the BHAG, hey? Quite the goal to aim for. So that is what we're going to do. This year, we're gonna slightly change the language, slightly change the direction, 
to try and reach half a million views so that we can change the face of Brisbane and town planning within Brisbane specifically. If you want to support us on this goal, if you want to help us on this way, like or comment on this video, or better still, share this video. The more likes, comments and shares we get, the more popular we are seen to be in Facebook's eyes. The more popular we are in Facebook's eyes, the more news feeds that we appear in, and therefore the more chance we have of reaching that 500,000 goal. So there you have it. As they say, aim for the moon, and if you miss, you land amongst the stars. That is our moon. Hopefully you can enjoy this journey with us. Let's see where we end up. Until next time, thanks for watching.